Praise the Lord, good night, greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. Privilege once again, beloved and friends, uh, to be here this night to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord, everyone is in good health and happiness, uh, regardless of our situation or world. As I always say, Jesus says in his words, uh, Lo, I am with you always, I will never leave you nor forsake you, even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty, beloved and friends, uh, that God gave us an assurance uh, that he will never leave us uh, nor forsake us, in every situation he promised that he will be with us. In every trial, in every testing, in every tribulation, in every storm, he promised to be with us, my friends and beloved. He said in his words, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come by thy dwelling. Let's give him a big hand tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Welcome tonight. Those of you listening to me online, you're listening to me on Facebook and YouTube. God bless you richly. It's a joy and great privilege to be here. If you're listening to me from your living room, from your dining room, from your kitchen, from your car, from your office, uh, on the street with your phone in church, or, or right here, God bless you richly. I pray tonight that God you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit. Uh, anoint my lips, anoint my tongue, anoint my voice. Uh, Anoint my body, anoint my soul, anoint my mind. Mark me with your precious blood as I minister your words. Your words will go forth with dunamis and the anointing and power of the Holy Spirit. As I pray tonight that many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, many will be encouraged, many will come to know thee as Lord and Savior. Into thy hands I commit my life and I pray tonight and I release a blessing upon your people's life tonight. And I pray that God will bless you thy people, oh, physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, every area of life. I pray that God will bless you and prosper you, that God will bless your marriage, God will bless your homes, God will bless your children, God will bless your finances, God will bless your Bless your business. God will bless you on the job. God will bless you in your comings, in your going out. And I pray that God will prosper you. I build a hedge around your life tonight. And I pray, and I pray that God will do a tremendous work in your life. That you will walk in divine health and happiness and prosperity and satisfaction in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's give him a big hand to you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name, my friends and beloved. I always say is that we're living in a very sick and sinful world. We're living in a world of chaos and confusion and frustration. We have weapons of mass destruction that destroy this world over 18 times over. How many times I've mentioned this and I've mentioned, my friends, what is going to happen to a world. A key player from NATO has asked me a question. He said, Prophet, what do you think? will happen very soon in this world. Well, I have the answer and I give the answer. My friends, it is not Armageddon as yet. Armageddon will not be as yet. The battle of Armageddon will be fought after the reign of the Antichrist for seven years. Whenever that be, at the end of the reign of the Antichrist, that's a tribulation period, that will be the battle of Armageddon. But what are we heading for right now? We're heading for a nuclear war. We headed for a nuclear war. There is nothing to stop with him. That man will never accept the defeat. And more Ukraine push him, more the, the faster Ukraine push him, the, 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 the faster he will use use a nuclear weapon. Do you know what I mean, my friends? The more Ukraine irritate him by taking back and by, by advancing more and more, he will, he will push him to use a nuclear weapon. My friends, he will not stop. He will not accept defeat. All these are written in scriptures. Russia is Gog and Magog, and it's part of the final battle. My friends, when two thirds of the world population will be destroyed, right now we have about 8 billion people in this world. And my friends and beloved, before the reign of the Antichrist, one third of the world population will be destroyed. I do not know what I see in the spirit realm, I do not know how it will be destroyed. What a with part of a nuclear bomb, nuclear weapon, as I see some part with tsunami. 
And we're saying, oh, this uh, the underground uh, submarine. Oh, something has happened there also. I see a summary. I see, I see, uh, I see massive waves on the coastline causing tsunamis, destroying billions, and also with a nuclear weapon. My friends, it will not stop. It is too late. But let's pray and ask God that He will help us. Only God can help the world. We have overstepped. The men have overstepped their limits, and the turning back point is too late. But tonight. I'm going to pray. My friends, one of the greatest servants of God in the Bible prayed and things happen and we need to keep on praying and believing God for miracles in our lives. We need to pray and ask God for miracles and healing and deliverance and protection and guidance in the nations. What are happening? I want to talk to you about one of the greatest servants of God tonight in a little prayer. My friends, in the Bible, Paul, the Apostle Paul, the Apostle Paul, my friends, is a man, a man who is mightily used, used by the Lord. That's the Apostle Paul. He was a man who was unidentifiably led by God. My friends, in fact, if you read Acts chapter 19, 19 verses 11, 11 and 12, my friends and beloved, you realize just how anointed, anointed Paul was. Paul was anointed because the Bible says, my beloved and friends in the Lord, did he God did extraordinary miracles through Paul so that even handkerchiefs or, 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 or aprons that had touched him were taken to the sick, were taken to the sick and the illness were cured, my friends. And the evil spirits left them. Hallelujah. I hear me tonight. The Apostle Paul. The Apostle Paul, my friends, was a man who could discern evil. Evil spirits and cast them out. So, my friends, tonight, so strong was Paul's fate. He had so great fate. He had, he and Silas, Paul and Silas, were beaten, chained, and placed in prison. Yes, my friends, only for him to then, he to then praise and worship the Lord. Lord. He worshipped and praised God. He had strong faith. He had great faith. He had bold, unwavering faith, my friends. So tonight, how could a man of such great faith then go on to say, this, this in First Timothy, First Timothy verse 1 and 15, he says, what does he say? This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptances he says that that christ jesus came into the world into the world to save sinners of whom i am chief he was so humble not only that that but there was what paul says in romans chapter 7 verse 15 to 20 what did paul says for i do not understand i do not understand my own actions for i i do not do what i want but he says i do i do the very thing that I hate. Am I relating to anyone tonight? Now I do what I do not want to do. I agree with the law. He says that it is good. The law is good. So now it is no longer no longer I who do it, but sin. He says, sin that dwelleth in me. Sin that dwelleth within me. For I know that nothing good dwells in me. That, that is in my flesh. In this flesh, nothing good dwells in me. For I have to desire to do what's right. But not the ability, not the ability to carry it out. For I do not do. I do not do the good I want. But the evil, the evil. Evil I do and not want it is what I keep on doing, says the Apostle Paul. If now if I do what I do not want, my friends, it is no longer I who do it, my friends, but sin, sin that dwells within me, help me do wrong. Paul clearly struggles with this issue of sin that we all struggle with, my friends and beloved, although he was mightily used. 
he was mightily used by the by by God. Yes, clearly human. He clearly had flaws and weaknesses on a personal level. My friends and beloved Paul writes about some of the same uh, frustrations that I and I struggle with today because at times. Because at times I can be my own worst enemy in that fight against sin. On the one hand, on the one hand, I know what I want to do, what I ought to do. I have the desire, the desire to do good. But because of my flesh, because of my flesh and carnal nature, sometimes I fall short. Sometimes I, I feel, I fall and fall in sin. And so what are we to do, my friends, as Christians tonight? All we face, we all face the battle of sin or, or holy holiness, sin or righteousness. My, my will, my will or God's will tonight. Pride, my friends, or humility. Do you have pride or humility? The broad road or the narrow road tonight. Well, my friends, saints, saints of God, here's what you should know. Here is what you should know. The Lord is merciful. He is merciful, my friends, to those who repent. Yes, to those who repent. No one is perfect, my friends. Fall or, or fall short, but here is a sign that you are growing. You are growing as a Christian, my friends. Hallelujah. With sin, when you get to a point where you, my friends, find no pleasure, you find no pleasure in sin. Yes, this is a clear sign that your faith is alive. Your faith is alive and your heart is not hardened. Hallelujah. Because if it were, if it were, if it, if it were, you were a spirit spiritually dead, spiritually dead my friends, you will have no problem shining so sinning, so I encourage you to rely on the grace of God. Hallelujah. Rely on the strength of the Lord to overcome sin tonight. And the first step to overcoming sin tonight, my friends, is always repentance. 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 Now let us pray tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus. We praise your name. We praise your name. You are holy. Yes, you are just and pure tonight. Your your word. Your word is first John chapter one. Chapter 1 verse 8 tells us to 10 says. What does it say tonight? If we say we have no sin. My friends, we deceive ourselves and the truth, the truth is not in us. My beloved and friends, if we confess our sins, he is faithful, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Yes, and to cleanse us, to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Hallelujah. If we say, if we say we have not sinned, if we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar tonight in his word in his word is not in us and his word is not in us lord we pray tonight we ask that you will forgive us forgive us for all that we have done yes wrong tonight forgive us for every evil thought tonight forgive us for every wicked action tonight. Yes, Lord, Lord Jesus, I repent. I repent. I accept that you will have mercy on my soul. Yes, help, help us to do what we ought to do. Hallelujah. Help us to do what we ought to do. Help us to be obedient to your commands and your word. Give us the grace, dear Father, to overcome sin. Holy Spirit, tonight I accept that you will empower us, empower us to overcome sin tonight. Yes, Father, cover us, cover us, fill us, Holy Spirit, yes, Holy Ghost, so that sin will not hold over us. 
Yes, tonight uh, should we be tempted. Tempted, give us, uh, give us the strength uh, to resist. Uh, resist so we so should we be tempted tempted remind us tonight lord jesus uh, that offers uh, so much joy so much joy and satisfaction should we be tempted uh, tempted by sin tonight uh, yes holy spirit uh, holy spirit uh, help us to see what sin really is tonight uh, it's disobedience to god it's rebellion from god it's uh, it's separation from Jesus Christ, yes, it's separation. Give us wisdom during these moments of temptation. Remind us, Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, that the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. He offers sin in an attractive form. Yes, but in reality, it is all an illusion. It's an illusion that comes with a heavy price, a heavy price torn our lives around King Jesus. Yes, King Jesus, I do not want to be caught in the same cycles of sin tonight. Yes, I don't want to be a habitual sinner. Lord Jesus, help me tonight. I want to practice holiness. Yes, I want to practice righteousness. Yes, whatever way, whatever may dis displease you, whatever doesn't exalt on you, you remove it, remove it from my life and our life, whatever characteristics or behaviors that displease you, Lord, remove them. Yes, oh Father, work in us, King Jesus. Yes, our lives belong to you. Yes, in our hearts, in our hearts are yours. Hallelujah. Second Chronicles chapter 7. Verse 14 says, what does it say, my friends and beloved, if my people who are called by my name, yes, humble themselves, humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Yes, and I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins, sin and heal, heal their lands, heal their country. Lord, I humble myself before you tonight. I am not worthy to be in your presence, but I thank you for the mercy and grace you have afforded me tonight. Yes, Father, Father, your, your word tells me that if I pray, if I pray and seek your face, yes, if I pray and seek your face and turn from my wicked ways then you will hear me yes you will hear me i thank you for such a promise tonight yes holy spirit holy spirit please pull the family to more holy spirit work within me so that i may turn from my carnal ways and follow lord jesus follow you lord jesus i thank you lord for hearing this prayer tonight in Jesus' mighty name, I pray tonight, dear Father, amen and amen and amen. Tonight, dear Father, as we continue praying, hallelujah, beloved and friends and brethren in the Lord. Yes, family members tonight and all who are listening to me tonight. I mean, let's continue praying tonight that God will help us. Only God can help us. We need to pray. One of, my, one of the most favorite accounts from the Bible is the life of Joseph. Yes, the life of Joseph. And if we actually take a moment and look at Joseph's life, we can lower or think too about the way Lord, the Lord orchestrates events and situation in our lives. Yes, my friends, at a young age, Joseph was sold into slavery by his brothers. He was sold into a strange land. Yes, where he was alone. Yes, he was alone and now at this time for Joseph there was no mother yes my friends he was no there was no father no family no inheritance
heavens, but deep down in his heart, Joseph believed that God was working out something good. Yes, God was working out something good, something that would enable him to fulfill his calling and his purpose. Hallelujah. So he continues serving his Egyptians master faithfully with the fear of God still embedded in him. My friends, at the point when it seemed Joseph was getting settled and comfortable in his master's house, he was thrown into prison. Yes, he was placed there because of what the what the fire's wife allegations. Poor Joseph, you could say, my friends and beloved, but God, but God, I say, in his divine planning, God in his divine planning was setting him up for his purpose. God was setting him up for his purpose. Now, at one point in life, you might be thrown in out of your comfort zone. You might find yourself in a place where there is no mother, no father, no family to back you or to stand up for you my friends but deep down in your heart this night my friends can you still believe can you still believe that God is working something out for your good hallelujah praise God the point I'm trying to make tonight is that when you face bad situations when you face difficulties in life maybe my friends and beloved just maybe tonight the mountain that you are facing tonight. Yes, it's actually a stepping stone. A stepping stone to your greatness tonight, my friends. You see, God works in ways that we may not understand, my friends. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 8 through 9 says, my friends, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declare the Lord God Almighty, my friends, as the heaven are higher than the earth. Yes, so are my ways, so are my ways higher than your ways, say the Lord, my thoughts than your thoughts tonight. Yes, yes, so Joseph went through all of those three challenges, all of those obstacles and all that heartache, my friends. But but listen tonight, it was all God's plan. I said it was all God's plan. You see, his steps was ordered, and that means everything good and everything bad was orchestrated by God. Yes, it was orchestrated from being a prisoner, yes, all the way up to being the second in command. To the king so it, it does not matter how long the challenge exists my friends God is faithful I says God is faithful and he will not allow a test that you cannot overcome yes you cannot overcome he will make a way of escape for you to the to you to be able to overcome to overcome that challenge my friends and beloved listen the Bible never said that. The Bible never said that because we are Christians. Yes, know that the trial and challenges will not come our way. Rather, the Word of God says, yes, it says in the Word, they are the, the, the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord, the Lord delivers him from them all. Yes, the Lord delivers from us from them all. First Peter chapter 4, verse 12 to 13. Says my friends tonight, be loving, be loving. Do not think it's strange concerning the fiery trials, which is to try you as some some strange things happen to you, but rejoice. Rejoice to the extent that you partake of Christ's sufferings, that when the glory is revealed, when the glory is revealed, you may and may also be glad with exceeding joy. Yes, exceeding joy. In short, we are told to expect trials. Accept trials, my friends. Don't look at them like they're strange happenings tonight. And we're all 
all also not to judge God's love for us by the things that happen or don't happen in our lives. The thing we have to guard ourselves against is questioning, questioning the love of God. Hallelujah. His love, His love, my friends, is constant, constant His love. His love is everlasting. Yes, and so beloved, beloved, the, the God we serve, the God we serve is one who turns things around for the good for of those who love and trust Him. Hallelujah. Those who love and trust Him, we serve a God that turns, uh, uh, the, the, the turns straight uh, to triumphant uh, and disappear into joy, disappear into joy. Now let's go to the Lord in prayer tonight. Uh, let's get a little more deeper. The Lord Jesus said, in Luke chapter 9 verse 62, your word says, Jesus says to him, Jesus says to him, no one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. Yes, no one. Father, help me never to look back tonight. Yes, help me never to doubt you or question you regardless of what I'm going through tonight. Oh, Father, God, give me the grace. Give me the grace, the strength, the determination. Yes, the determination to constantly look at look forward look forward and keep my eyes on you lord jesus lord jesus i surrender all to you tonight you can have my life yes father you can have my hands you can have my mind you can have my entire being belongs to you tonight i surrender my life i pray lord that you will let us you i will serve that the ties between me and this world, yes, break the ties between me and and anything, anything in my past tonight that may be holding me back tonight. Yes, Lord Jesus, Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, help me to get to the stage where I surrender all, all to you, Lord Jesus, and withhold, withhold nothing nothing from you if i am to be tested tonight yes lord may you find me to be loyal loyal to you and not uh, not the blessing tonight Lord, find me, find me to, to be someone who is loyal to the healer tonight uh, and not the healing tonight. Uh, I choose to have the miracles giver over the miracles tonight. Uh, Lord, help me to understand that you are far more important uh, and you are a far more value to me tonight uh, than any blessings tonight, dear Father. You are more valuable uh, than any any gift tonight, any virtue tonight, receiving you, Lord Jesus, is far more important, yes, and far more significant tonight than anything else tonight, yes, Lord, and so I declare, I declare tonight that I am willing to give up everything else, dear God, it, it, it means I have to, I have, I, I have you, King Jesus, yes, give me a heart that is in constant content Lord content Lord give me a heart that would rather have a few things on this earth and store up my true treasures in heaven tonight your word in Psalms 27 the God verses 1 to 6 says tonight he says, do not fret because of evil doers, no, nor, nor, nor envious of envious workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass. Yes, Lord, and whether it is the green herb. Tonight, O oh Father, trust, I trust in the Lord and do good tonight. Dwell in the land, yes, Lord, and feed on his faithfulness tonight. Delight yourself, my friends and beloved, also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Yes, he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your ways to the Lord. Trust also in him tonight, and he shall bring, he shall bring it to pass, my friends and beloved. He shall bring forth your righteousness 
as a as a light and your justice and your justice as a noon day my friends and beloved lord i i thank you because you are a god who will never leave us empty tonight lord if you if you ask us to put something down it's simply because you want us to pick up something that's better tonight Oh, Father, I believe, Lord Jesus, tonight, yes, that when you close one door, when you close one door, is because you have another door that offers greater things. Tonight, oh, Father, if you ask us to walk away from something tonight, it's because you want us to walk towards something, something better something better tonight help me to have faith tonight that acts that acts faith that words that works that faith works lord jesus tonight yes i am willing i am willing tonight to give up everything the father for the sake of the gospel tonight yes father i'm willing to surrender all for you tonight the father because i know that that is doing in doing so i will inherit eternal life oh father i will inherit eternal life and that was makes everything so much more worthwhile tonight is knowing that i can spend eternity with you the father and so tonight I pray, thank you, and I ask for the help of the Holy Spirit. Don't allow me to love the miracle more than the miracle giver tonight. Don't allow me to turn my blessing into an idol tonight. Oh, Father, but I pray my, that my focus should be now and forever be Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Lord, tonight bless your whole, I bless your holy name, and I thank you, Lord, for hearing this prayer tonight oh father it is in the mighty name of jesus that i pray tonight amen and amen and amen and amen tonight hallelujah praise god my friends and beloved it has been a joy and great privilege to be here tonight to pray with you and pray for you and encourage you in whatever way ways i can tonight my friends those who are sick tonight and if you have cancer, if you have AIDS, you have COVID, you have diabetes, you have a heart problem, a liver problem, a lungs problem, a blood issue, a blood dialysis problem, if you're suffering tonight with a migraine headache tonight, if you have pains all over your body and the painkiller cannot help you tonight, I want to introduce you to Jesus Christ. If you're suffering from high cholesterol, low cholesterol, high blood pressure, what the case may be, my friends, tonight, I want to introduce you to the healer. Jesus Christ is your healer, for he was wounded for your transgressions. He was bruised for your iniquities. The chastisement of your peace was upon him and with his stripes you are healed tonight give him a big hand tonight hallelujah my friends if you are if you are depressed depressed frustrated if you are suffering from oppression depression frustration anxiety if you are demon possessed tonight and you cannot sleep in the night and demons are harassing you those demons are fleeing right now in the name of jesus there is no respect of person paul prayed and paul had faith I pray and I have faith that God says you must lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. But my friends and beloved, there is no barrier, there is no distance where God is concerned and where the anointing is concerned. Wherever you are tonight, if you are in the United States of America, if you are in Canada, you are in the UK, you are in the Caribbean, you are in Italy, France, Germany, Japan, you are in Ukraine, Russia, where, whatever part of the world you are in right now, and you need healing, and you can get this word. My friends, God will touch you and heal you right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for the people in Ukraine. They are suffering because of leaders who are holding on to power. We all know that no one can fight against 
Gog and Magog. My friends, Gog is Putin and Russia is Magog. My friends, these are the last days prophecy are coming to pass and we know what will happen to this world very soon. My friends and beloved, you're sick tonight in your mind. You're power drunk tonight and you want to, to win all the time. My friends, surrender. Surrender to God. Let God take control. Give everything to God. You cannot win the battle. Only God can win the battle for you. What are you fighting against? Put everything in the hands of God tonight. Hallelujah. My friends, I feel the anointing go through those who, who, who are sick tonight. And my friends, many will be saved. Just accept the gift of salvation. Are you ready tonight? I feel a tremendous anointing of the Holy Spirit. I was telling my wife uh, for the past week, I was feeling the anointing little over my right eye down to my face. Uh, and I know the anointing, I can feel the anointing. And from time to time, I keep feeling this anointing. And I do not know what will happen, but something is going to happen in this world very soon. I do not know if it's good or bad or what is it, uh, but there is something coming. Something is happening. My friends, look up for your redemption. Join now. Jesus Christ is. I go to prepare a place for thee and if I go to prepare a place for thee I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am there ye may be also my friends many things will happen upon this earth but everything are constrained and holding back because God the Holy Spirit is still here in the believers and God the Holy Spirit is still here upon this earth. But when the rapture takes place and the God lift that anointing, then full chaos and confusion will loose upon this earth in the seven year tribulation period. My friends, it's time you need to make your assurance. I want to ask you a question tonight. Are you safe tonight? Do you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Is your name written in the Lamb's book of life? Or are you still holding on to the begging elements of this world which will be destroyed with fire and brimstone? Are you setting up your home in on earth? But if you're wise tonight, you will make your life right with God. And make sure your assurance is right with him. So when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, you will be transformed. The mortal shall put on immortality and corruption incorruptible. And you shall be transformed and with the Lord God in the air, in the sky. My friends, listen to what I'm telling you. Do not heap up treasures upon this earth. It will burn up with fire and brimstone very soon. But make sure your life is secure and you're safe. There is only two places you can spend eternity. Either heaven or hell. In this flesh, this flesh will die. This flesh of blood, flesh and bone will perish. But the soul will never die. It lives on for all eternity. But there is only two places you can spend eternity. is either heaven or hell. My friends, the choice is yours tonight. I do not know why God is speaking. I suppose to close off about three minutes ago. But my friends, God is speaking to somebody. You're doing all the wrong things, robbing people, being a cookish businessman, robbing the poor to get wealth, and damaging your soul, heaping up treasures for a short time. And when you die, you go to loss eternity. Does it make any sense, no? My friends, it has been a joy and great privilege to be here tonight to minister the word of God. God bless you richly. I want to encourage you to keep on praying and make your salvation secure. I love you in the love of God. Do have a sweet and wonderful night rest. I'll see you in the morning by the grace of God. In Jesus' name, amen.